Good evening, everybody. Welcome to In the Kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having them a good day today. It was a beautiful day here in Iola, Texas. It's still beautiful out there. We're getting a lot of stuff done today. I'll tell you what, this pretty weather, you're getting it done. Buzz getting them peas planted and stuff, and all the other stuff's coming on up pretty and looking good. It won't be long. I'll be taking out there, taking it out there and letting y'all see the garden, you know, make, make y'all look at our garden. Oh, well, you know, it's the little things. It's country life. We love it. But, uh, anyway, I got to get in here. He's cooking ribs for us tonight on the pit, so I don't have to worry about no meat. Thank you, Jesus. I don't have to worry about a meat tonight, but, um, I got some things over here that I'm working on. I'm going to show y'all that in a minute, but, uh, on another video, but I want to get this. I wanted to get it sooner, but he's kind of slow in the kitchen, y'all. Anyway, I'm still going to get it done. This is a strawberry pineapple fluff, and it's just a, a, a salad, a, a Cool Whip and a fruit and stuff salad that you put together with Jello and stuff, right? One of those. It's kind of a, one of the Jello salad things. So the first thing I'm going to do, y'all, I want to show you. Oh, no, the first thing I want to do is look what I have on. Somebody sent me this. I got it in my mail today. Look at it. Is this not me, y'all, for a t-shirt? Ketchup with Jesus. Let us praise and relish him. Uh, what's it say? Yeah, let us praise and relish him because he loves me from my head to my, to my toes. Is this not me? <laughs> Is that not so cute? I love it, and it was from one of my friends on here, and I thank you so very much. I love it. I love it. It is me to the core. It fits perfect. It's a t-shirt. It's it's all, I love the saying on it, and you know, all, all this going on, I love it. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody sending me things. It's so fun to get that stuff in the mail from y'all. Everybody's just been so sweet. But anyway, okay, enough on, on that and everything. Again, thank you, and I love you, okay? We're going to get this started with this uh, salad I'm going to make. What it is, y'all, is I had me, I got me one of those boxes of the fresh strawberries, one or little baskets of them. It was a little bit bigger basket, you know. The more you want, the better, I guess. It, it really, there's no measurement, but at least one of those nice size uh basket thingies of the fresh strawberries and I took them and I cut them up. I didn't cut them in the circle. I cut them like this. You can cut them how you want to. But anyway, you take them and you put them in a bowl and I put two thirds of a cup of sugar on them in this, in a bowl. Okay. And I squeezed, uh, oh no, that's on another one. So I had two thirds of a cup of sugar in there. So you're going to let them set and go over there and stir them every now and then until you get this liquid and get that liquid to dissolve. Uh, your sugar to dissolve. So now I have my liquid, right? So I'm going to take it and pour it up in this pour it up in this cup right here. Alright? Now, because I'm making a jello pack, I need two cups of liquid. Everybody pretty much knows that. So I have a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple here, drained. I've got it drained really good, but that means I've got my pineapple juice in there, right? So I need my two cups of liquid, and I want to mix them together. So let's see. Look at there. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't have asked for that to be any better. Ha <laughs> ha. That's perfect. Okay. So now for my jello, I need, I'm going to pour, let me see if I can get it in this little pot here. I need one cup to start my jello off with. I'm gonna get this heating, get my water heating, my juice heating here, and we're gonna stir in, when it does, we're gonna stir in one of our packs of strawberry jello, one of the three ounce boxes. So let this get heating up, and I'll come back and we'll stir that in. Okay, <clears throat> so now my liquid is boiling, and I'm just gonna take my whole pack of my jello here, regular old jello strawberry pour it in there we're gonna get it dissolved I think I can 
All right, about there is about good as I can do it, y'all. Okay, let's get this jello dissolved in here. Okay, that's all I gotta do there. Got that dissolved. Now, I'm gonna take my pineapple and I'm gonna go ahead and dump it in there. Okay? And now my strawberries, what I want to do there, y'all, is I want to save me some for uh, the top. So I'm going to take some of them out of there. Just that ought, to, that ought to work good just like that. Now I can go ahead and put my strawberries in here with my pineapple. Okay? Stir this up together. And that's going to help cool that jello down, too. All right. Uh-oh, there's a strawberry leaf. Not that he'd hurt anything, but I'll get him out. Okay. Get my stu my fruit stirred up in here. That's going to help cool it down nicely. And now, I don't know if I want to put all of this liquid in there. Let me see. So that's about half of that, okay? We're going to say half of that. So that would be one and a half cups of liquid. Okay, one cup when you first uh, heat it up and dissolve it, and then just add you another half cup to this. And this is what you end up with, right? So now, we're going to have to let it cool. And y'all, sometimes, and I'm probably going to do this, I'm not going to, I'll take, turn the camera off when I'm getting ready to do this, but I'll go get me a bowl of ice and set that down in there, that pot down in that bowl of ice, and let it hurry up and cool it for me so I can get on with the program. But, you know, if you got time or something or whatever, just get this part done, and you can go do something else if you're needing to while you're waiting on this to cool, because after that, everything we're going to do is just stir it up together, put it in a bowl, and put it in the refrigerator, okay? It's a strawberry pineapple fluff, and it's some good stuff, y'all, but we got to let it cool. All right, so I've got us back over at the bar now, and like I told y'all, see, I just had got me a big old bowl with some ice in it, and I got it set down in here, and now it's it's very chilled. It's it's kind of cold even, right? So, let me taste. <laughs> uh, I washed my finger off so nobody be fussing. Whatever, people. Okay, here we go. All right. I have. I've got all my jello stuff in here so i'm fixing to just pour it in here okay do it just like that and now i want to take i've got a can of sweetened condensed milk y'all i'm going to pour about half of it in here i may want more but y'all know how rich this stuff is right so let's do about half of it at the moment now I've got an eight ounce tub of whipped topping. And I'm gonna do the same thing with it. You can get too much whipped topping and stuff for me, but that's up to you, okay? I'm probably gonna use all of it, but I just wanna make sure. I can't take it out, right? And now I've got me some walnuts. You can use pecans, whatever you wanna use, right? Whatever you wanna use on some on your nuts on it. So this is one of them little old this says about half a cup. Sounds good to me. Going in. The chopped ones. So, we're going to take it and just stir it all up together. Get it all mixed in. This is some good eating, y'all. These Jell-O salads, them old Jell-O salads are good. And they make so many neat ones. But this one is a pretty good one here that I like to do for, it's a little bit different from the other ones you normally do. But it's still, you know, on that same basic realm of making you a jello salad. But we gotta get it in the refrigerator and let it get set up now, right? As much as it's going to. Okay. I am going to get me a spoon and taste of it and see if I want more of the condensed milk in there. Because I did a little over of that half. 
on that can. So let me see here. Well, I like it just like it is. That's up to you. If you want to put more in it, right? You can. I don't even want to put no more cool with in mine. So I'm just going to take it, put it in this little bowl here. Pour it up in here like that. And take these little fresh strawberries and just blob them around the top of it. Just to do it like that, right? Little strawberries on the top. And y'all, that is your strawberry pineapple fluff. That's what it is. Guarantee you the kids will eat it up. And so will you. It's going to be really good after supper tonight for something fresh to eat on. And, you know, summertime's getting on, right? So, you know, you want those summertime dishes coming on. We'll start working on more and more of those as we go. But y'all try it. You know, give it a try. You see how easy it was? I mean, it's a little bit of steps on, you know, taking care of your strawberries and doing that. But, I mean, it's nothing, right? One of them little old packs of strawberries, two-thirds cup of sugar. Slice your strawberries up, put that sugar on them, set them aside. Let the sugar dissolve, you know. And uh, when it does, then you take them and just strain them. Save that juice. You're going to add that juice to a measuring cup. And then you're going to strain your pineapple, your 20-ounce can of pineapple. And use whatever pineapple juice you have left to make, as we've seen here, a, a cup and a half of juice. But you want to mix your juices, right? You want a little bit of pineapple and strawberry juice in there. So, anyway, but mix your juices. Get you a cup and a half, you know. And, and then use one cup of that to make your strawberry jello with, with one three-ounce box. Stir it up. Get it all heated up. Turn the fire off. Add your pineapple and your strawberries. Stir them up in there. Add you, uh, you know, the other half of your cup of liquid and let it set and cool and do that however you want to. And then all you're going to do is mix it in with, you know, a half a can of sweetened condensed milk. And we used almost all of it, y'all look. And, you know, so it's an eight ounce tub of your whipped topping and a half a cup of nuts, chopped nuts. Stir it up, put some of your strawberries, save you a little bit of your strawberries. When you dump your fruit in your jello pot, right? Save you a little bit of strawberries to speckle it on the top light. And it'll be ready. Look, that's going to be it. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you again for my precious shirt. I love it. And uh, y'all uh, make this. It's good dessert. I'll talk to you later and I'll see you next time in the kitchen with Tally Faye. All right, y'all, we just finished up eating that delicious supper, and I had to save a little room. You know I did. Buzz may eat some, he may not. He's not as big a sweet eater as I am, but anyway, I wanted y'all to see how it looks when it's set up. Let me get it. Here it is. Look at that, okay? I'm just going to take some up in a little bowl here. It's still got a little bit of setting time because... Remember, I got a late start on it, but it's still, that'll show you how good it is right there, though. How it takes up, let me back it up a little, there we go. How it takes up like that. Uh, we're going to get us a bite of this. I'm telling y'all, this is summer fresh, right? Mm-mm-mm. That's delicious, y'all. Mm-mm. And the nuts in it give it texture and another little taste so that's it y'all try it it's a strawberry pineapple fluff good summertime food i love y'all have a great evening thank you everybody thank you for my shirt and i'll see y'all next time in the kitchen with tally faye